Hey everybody, uh, this is Angel Frost from Frost Cosplay. Um, so what I'm working on right now is um, I am doing a build of the Rocketeer helmet. Um, and uh, so I just want to share with you guys, uh, it's something new for me too, so we'll see if it works. Um, so I'll just go through what I'm doing. Um, first I want to show you, this is the Rocketeer helmet that I made. Um, I just added these rivets in, which give it a really nice detail. Now again, this thing needs some weathering, uh, but right now this is what it looks like. So what we're going to make right now is we're going to make the lenses. Okay, so we're going to make the lenses here. Okay, so now what I've done here, just to show you, um, I took some of this uh, brown paper and uh, very similar. And what I basically took this and I put it on the inside. I shouldn't have done that because I actually marked the thing on the inside of it. It's okay, we can paint it. So I took this, I laid this paper on the inside, like so. And then once I got it laid inside there, then I went ahead and um, used a marker and I traced it out so I can get the shape. So then by doing that, I ended up with this. Okay, you can see the marker right there. So what I did was, is you always give yourself a little bit of extra because you never know what's going to happen as far as like, um, uh, you know, you always give yourself some room for error. So what I did was, is uh, so you can see where I cut um, about, I don't know, maybe five or six centimeters away from the line, uh, all the way around for the lens. Then what I did was, is this is one eighth inch thick, uh, one inch inch uh, plexiglass. This is smoke uh, plexiglass. Uh, and uh, so I just bought a 12 by 12 so I can use it for a few things. And then you can see right here that I drew, um, I traced out my brown paper on it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this out. All right, so. And since we are working with plexiglass, uh, I am going to use my safety gear. Sorry, lenses are really dirty. Okay. I really should have cleaned these first, but oh well. Okay, so I'm going to use my. Always, always make sure you wear some form of uh, safety glasses, guys, because and girls. Uh, because um, you don't want any shards popping up and trust me it's happened before it's just where no matter if you do it for a second or if you do it for a minute or for an hour always wear safety glasses I'm also going to wear my mask uh, only because um, well also to uh, once you start cutting into the plastic you get that black that burnt plastic smell that the fumes uh, so I always wear the mask just you know a precaution probably better be safe than sorry put these over the top. Um, so what I'm going to use is, is I'm going to, now this plexiglass actually came with a plastic film over the top. So I'm going to leave that film on there because it should give me uh, a little bit more durability through my cut. Um, I'm going to be using my Dremel with a uh, cutoff tool. Um, I'm not sure what size this is. I'll check it in just a minute. I'm going to use a cutoff tool and see if this will work for cutting this plexiglass.
So that's exactly why we wear these, um, except it still got underneath and it caught me right here in the eye. Shit. Okay. So I have another pair of glasses that are a little bit more sealed than these are. Only because of the angle, and yeah, guys, it smells a lot like plastic, so make sure you wear a mask. Try these. Okay. See if they work better than that. Okay, so, um, I'm not done yet, I gotta still cut it out and make it all nice and smooth. Uh, but just, I'll take advantage of, to go over a couple of small things that I saw right here. Um, when you're cutting, uh, when you're cutting this way, uh, and the way your wheel is spinning, it's throwing back the plastic, so it shoots it back. So try to keep your arm up high like this, where you're cutting at, so that um, whatever's being shot back, straight back, doesn't hit you on the arm. And what happened, guys, is that this stuff gets really hot. As you're cutting it, it's actually melting it. So that hot plastic is being shot back and it sticks to your skin. It starts burning right on that spot. So you gotta be very careful with that. And try not to grab it. I really should be wearing gloves, but you know, yeah, wear gloves. Let's finish cutting this because it stinks in here. It smells like, for real, it smells like plastic.
Okay, so it'll probably be even better, <laughs> which I can't do it now, but is to actually um, wear a long sleeve shirt or wear some kind of a jacket. Uh, if it's too hot like it is right now in here, maybe wear the jacket just over this one sleeve, this one arm, uh, where it's being shot back at because, man, this stuff stings and burns. So, okay, I'm going to put my mask back on because it really smells strong in here with plastic. Okay, so this is the lens, um, but it's hard to see right here, this angle. But the lens, uh, because this plastic is nice and flat, and the helmet is curved, uh, it doesn't sit in there very good. So what we need is, is we need that curvature. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we can use this. I have this my barge. So what I'm going to do is, is actually I'm, I don't want to do that. I have a can of stainer. So what we're going to do is sorry. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take the lens and I'm going to heat it up with my heat gun. Once I heat it up, then I'm going to use this to give it a little bit of a curvature. So we're just going to set it on top like this and just kind of bend it on there to give it a little bit of a curve to it. Okay, so I went ahead and heated this up, and so now what it is, I'm going to lay it over the top of this. Uh, hopefully it isn't too much of a curve, okay? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this cool down a little bit, okay? Once you let it cool, it'll hold that form there, okay? So, now what I'm doing is I'm just bending it in the, so uh, this right here was the corner of the eye right there. Uh, so that way I'm going to bend it just like the shape of the, of the helmet.
Okay, so um, I tried it right now. It looks like it needs more than just a bend that way. It needs a lot more of a curve or something. Uh, so uh, now what we have to try and do is, is I have to try to um, take this and put it on, uh, heat it up and put it on in through the inside of the mask and let it form to, let the uh, kind of bend it into where the eyepiece is supposed to go and hold it till it's cool. Um, so uh, I might need thicker gloves because it gets really hot. Uh, plus, I'm hoping that it doesn't. Uh, this helmet is actually made out of EVA foam, so I'm hoping it doesn't melt into the mask. So that's what we're hoping not to happen. Uh, I don't think I have my other gloves. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do, but I just have no idea where. So. We're going to just try it like this, okay? So, hopefully I don't burn myself. Okay, so I went ahead and put it in there. Uh, it doesn't look like it's burning into the EVA, EVA foam, but you got to be very careful not to press too hard on it because it is hot enough to burn into it. Um, so, that looks good. It's pretty cool. Okay, so all I'm doing is just kind of working it, making sure I'm pushing a little bit on the center. So it gets a little bit of that bubble look to it, which is really classic for that uh, yeah, for the helmet. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out now. It looks like it's cool enough. So seems to have given the shape. I'm gonna go ahead and it's not all the way cool yet. Now what I'm hoping didn't happen is, I'm hoping that this plastic film that's on there didn't fuse itself to the plexiglass. Should 
don't know what it is. I don't know if it's thicker or what it is. I'm going to put that down for a second. Okay, let's see. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of a sticker. But apparently it looks like it got hot too and hard to the to the plexiglass. What I'm hoping, like I said, is I'm hoping it didn't fuse itself to the glass or the plexiglass. So I'm gonna take a look at that in just a second. At least if we can get the outside piece off. Now we're good. Ooh, man, that's still hot. Okay. Once I peeled it back, I have this right here. Okay. Now I checked the visibility when I got this, but after you fold these and start to modify them, stuff happens to it the way it is, so we'll see what happens here. Let's see how much visibility I have. Oh yeah, still very good. Okay. So, let's see here with this. And the one nice thing about doing that with the, of melting it in there, is it leaves the marks. So you can kind of tell where it's supposed to go. Okay. All right, so now I've got basically an idea where it's supposed to go. Next is to glue it in there. So I think what I'm going to use is uh, I'm going to use my barge uh, cement. Um, I hope that this will work good on there. Uh, works pretty good with plastics and with EVA foam, so I'm hoping that this combination of plastic and EVA foam will work. Now, if you don't know how to use barge, uh, the best way is is to apply, let it sit for about 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and then go ahead and apply what you're going to be sticking to it and add pressure. Um, that gives it a chance to um, get its like stickiness to it. Don't try to attach right away because then it just, it sits, it's, it's too moist inside there. You want to give it a little bit, maybe even 20 seconds, you know, 15 seconds. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and barge out here. Give it a nice uh, brush around and polish. guys we're going to cut right there because I just remembered that when I used that marker on the inside I actually painted the inside of this helmet I need to repaint it again if I put it in there if I don't I'm going to end up all screwed on this and I won't be able to repaint it alright so we're going to stop there and I will finish the video later So, um, uh, since I left, uh, I went ahead and repainted a spot where I had used a marker at. So try to use like a pen or something so you don't end up marking the inside of your, your, your helmet. Um, okay, so what I've done is, since I did that, I went ahead and patched one of the lenses just so we can see what it looks like. Um, I actually love the results. Um, so here we go, this is no lens and there is one of the lenses right there. 
Um, so what I've done now is uh, I kind of went ahead in here. I've already cut the second lens and molded it inside the same way I had already shown you guys how to do that. And so now what I've done is we're going to show right inside here. Um, inside of there, I just went ahead and put um, some of this barge uh, inside of the inside of the inside of the helmet um, around right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wait till it doesn't look so wet. So what you want to do is you want to wait till you can look kind of like almost all the way not wet. <laughs> Once it reaches that stage, it's going to have like a real stickiness to it and it's actually going to grab a lot better. So this is something I know that like when you put it on normal glue, you're just like, oh, when it's wet, boom, throw it on there. Not this stuff. This stuff you want to wait until it, it's almost dry because it ends up like sticky and ends up a lot easier to stick it in there. Okay. So while I'm waiting for that to continue to dry, um, so this right here, after what I did is, is I actually heated it up with the film on it. Um, again, I bought this from a glass store where they do like um, window glass. Uh, so it came with a film over the top of it, this white film right here. So I actually heated it up with the film on. It actually works perfect, it works fine. Uh, it doesn't seem to do anything to it and it stands up to the heat. So once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and once I've molded this and it's already nice and dry, uh, it's already cold, so it's already molded to the way I want it. So now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna go ahead and peel it back, okay? So I'm gonna peel back, there you go, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this to both sides here. Now what I did was I actually didn't make a second mold to cut this lens. I'm going to show you guys. So once you make one side, because it should be a duplicate on your helmet, so once you do it, so this is the one that I already cut, I think you guys remember, so the, the way it, so it went like this, and the point was the corner of the eye. So all I did was, is now when I traced it on here, I just flipped it over and did it backwards. So that way you don't have to make two of these, so you can make them exactly the same, okay? So you just flip it over, lay it on, trace it, and then cut it, okay? All right, so I went ahead and cut it, and so now it should be, okay, maybe just a second more, and then we're going to start to apply it. So once I put it in, then I'm going to slowly just keep pressing down to give us that, um, you know, uh, to make sure that it, it stays, that, that the adhesive grabs to it. Then we'll leave it overnight, let it cure. And then we may have to do a little bit of touch up in there, you know, but for the most part, you know, it actually looks pretty good. And I love how see-through this is. So, you know, from once your head is inside there, it gets really dark, but uh, you can see through it perfectly. Actually, this is great. I think I'm gonna start using this for my Spidey lenses. Um, okay. Okay, make sure it's clean when you're going to apply it. Now again, it helps to make sure that you have that, remember what I told you guys, the extra piece on the outside, that gives you the spot to glue, okay? You want to make sure you go bigger than smaller. And you can kind of see on the inside here, um, let's see, you can see on the inside of how I went bigger. Now again, there's a little bit of white right there. I, it was really hot and I was trying to hold it in there and I ended up using a napkin. Bad idea because I already had some glue in there um, from before I went to go paint it, so whatever. Lesson learned. Can't see it inside there anyway, so who cares? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and apply now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it by looking at it like this. So I make sure that I get enough on each spot. Okay, that looks good. So now that I have it in there, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm holding it from the inside, and I'm just gonna start applying pressure all the way around to get the the I think to stick to the lens. What's really nice is if you do that, if you do wait and be patient and let the glue kind of almost dry, it just becomes super sticky. So as soon as you press on it, this stuff just kind of grabs right away the lens. So it's really nice. So 
I have to add a little bit more adhesive to some of my um, my rivets that I didn't hold down long enough. Which again, I should have done the same thing. I didn't do the same thing. I didn't wait, and now my rivets are lifting up a little bit. So you know, the bottom is pretty glued, but you know, I just didn't wait. Got to be patient when you do this. I put my mask back on because it's really strong. Okay, so I'm just going to keep adding pressure to there, and uh, and so that way, um, you know, I'm just going to keep because unfortunately I don't have anything to put over the top right here. So I'm going to kind of apply pressure, hold it there. You can watch a movie, whatever. I'd say give it, you know, me maybe five or ten minutes. You know, what I mean, and just kind of holding it there, putting a little bit of pressure on there, so that any little tiny spots don't lift up. Again, you can fix these once they've already um, come loose. But once you do that, once you've already applied them and you've given enough pressure, you let it cure overnight. Um, you know, so here we go. So there we go. There is my Rocketeer lenses. Um, there we go. I love it. I love them. They came out great. So I use a smoke one eighth inch, one eighth inch thick uh, PVC. Uh, um, PVC. So when I did that, I gotta fix these rivets for real. <laughs> okay, so there we go. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial on how to make your Rocketeer lenses. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post it. Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, all over the place. Uh, me and my son at Frost Cosplay. F R O S T Cosplay. You actually see it on the screen right there. So again, thank you everybody, and uh, I hope this helped a couple of you people, a couple of you out there, and uh, thank you, take care. Till next time.